The first reported case of coronavirus was found on November 17th, 2019. Since that day, there have been over 237,000 more reported cases. And that number is going up every single day. So that brings me to the question that I'm gonna to try to help us all answer today. And that is, what makes coronavirus so freaking contagious? Hi, my name is Ida and I'm a second year medical student living in the, in the United States. And I'm gonna be trying to help us all sort through the answer to this question today. So the article I found um, is written by Andreas Bockhaus and he did some really interesting data crunching. So what he did was he compared the COVID reported cases in South Korea with the COVID reported cases in Italy. And what he found was that the largest age group affected by COVID in Italy um, were between the ages of 70 and 79. And based off of what we've been hearing in the media about this being a disease that mainly affects the elderly, that data made a lot of sense. However, his um, data crunching for the South Korea data did not show the same results. And so actually um, in South Korea, the largest age group affected by COVID-19 was actually between the ages of 20 and 30. And you must be wondering now, like what is causing this huge difference in reporting numbers between these two countries? And I think that most of us speculate that this difference is caused by the different testing protocols used in each respective country. So since South Korea is so close to China, it took very aggressive early measures in fighting coronavirus. What, did, what were aggressive measures? Well, an important one to mention was that they tested almost everyone. That's likely the reason why they found a whole bunch of cases of coronavirus in the 20 to 30 year old age range that were asymptomatic carriers. So a lot of these Korean 20 to 30 year olds were found to have coronavirus, but show no visible signs of coronavirus. This testing protocol was very different in Italy and Italy only tested people who showed multiple signs of having coronavirus and um, many times required people to have been in direct contact with another COVID positive person before getting tested. Um, of course, these testing protocols changed as the disease um, progressed, but a, a lot of the first cases in Italy were handled in this manner, just like they are being handled in the United States, where right now we are only really testing people who are showing multiple signs of coronavirus and have also been in contact with a confirmed case of coronavirus. That is what we can speculate to be the reason behind the disparity in age groups. So what does that mean for us? What does that mean for us as Americans? This probably means that there are a lot of 20 to 30 year olds living in the United States right now who are walking around with coronavirus and are not showing symptoms of coronavirus. This brings us to our next question, and that is, can asymptomatic carriers of coronavirus cause infection in other people? Well, a JAMA study published earlier this February studied this specific question. The paper published in JAMA earlier this year is a case study that studies one woman and five of her family members. The woman is a 20-year-old who lives in Wuhan, China. On January 10th, 2020, she travels from Wuhan to Anyang to visit some of her family members. Less than 20 days after the woman's arrival, five of her relatives were confirmed to have COVID-19. Her family members showed signs of fever as well as respiratory distress. Two of her relatives came down with severe cases of pneumonia due to coronavirus. The young woman never showed any signs or symptoms of coronavirus. The woman was eventually placed in isolation at the hospital and physicians ran multiple tests on her. They initially did a screening test for coronavirus and it came back negative. The chest CT also came back normal 
and the her blood lymphocyte count as well as her CRP level were all normal. Later, the physicians re-ran the PCR screening test for coronavirus and it came back positive. The woman had coronavirus, but she never developed COVID-19. What this study suggests is that asymptomatic carriers of coronavirus can infect other people and can lead to infectious severe disease in other people. So what does this all information mean for us all now? Well, I think that it means that all you 20 to 30 year olds partying in on the beaches of Florida right now, you need to be careful when you come home to your family because it's quite possible that you could be a carrier of coronavirus and not even know it and then get the people that you love sick. And so I think it's really important for us all to follow the CDC's recommendations of social distancing and self-quarantine in order to help stop the spread of this virus.